I love talking about urgency. It is the surefire way to drive up the win rates on our deals. How often, when you're working a deal, does your prospect go silent? Probably way too much. How often are you flagging deals as dead no decision? Well, let's talk through some of the tips that I've used personally that helps sales teams drive urgency in a collaborative way with champion and economic buyers, right? It starts with uncovering the metrics and the KPIs and really getting deep on the issues and the impacts. It's so critical that we're being authentically curious. We talked about the importance of preparation and how important it is to ask great questions. Well, let's make sure when we're getting on calls that we are uncovering those issues and impacts. And let's do it in an authentic way, right? So we're on the calls and we've done this discovery and we've started to hear and we've built trust and we're really, uh, there's great energy on the call and, and the person you're speaking with is sharing and, and you're going back and forth and you're being curious, you're asking open-ended layering questions, it's amazing. Well, in order to drive urgency, you gotta go a step further. You need to pause, you need to recap, you need to ask layering questions to verify and validate what you heard. And, and all this needs to happen in a conversational way. Can't be robotic, can't be scripted. Because you've done your prep, because you know their business, because you understand the buyers, because you know their priorities, you're really able to have this collaborative uh, conversation about what's going on in their business. And then at the end of the call, it's really important that you're doing a summary recap, that you're sharing what you heard, you're listing out the metrics and the KPIs, and you are being super clear on the quantified impacts. And if you do that, and if you get the verbal cues back, got it, you're on message, thank you very much, awesome. That's where you wanna be on the end of the call. You don't want calls to end too fast, you don't have time to recap, and then you're wondering what happened. That's why your buyers are going silent. So as you think about the call, you know, you're kicking it off correctly, you're asking the right questions, you're recapping what you heard, and then at the end of the call, you're summarizing everything and you're starting to talk about next steps. Make sure you're sending out a recap email, listing out what you heard, the current situation, listing out the metrics and the quantified uh, impacts uh, that they've shared with you. It's so important that that goes out same day or within 24 hours. Remember, we are talking about driving urgency and we are co-creating this urgency with the people that we're meeting with. And by sending them this email recap, guess what? You're engaging them. Now you're gonna learn a lot. Are they gonna respond quickly or are they gonna not respond quickly? That's gonna tell you a little bit about where their head's at and how important is it for them to solve these most critical quantified metrics that you've uncovered. Well, once they've responded and they said, this is great, then you wanna encourage them to verify and validate these quantified metrics with other stakeholders and other influencers in the organization. It's an important step. You wanna make sure that we're getting that information and that validation. And then we can begin moving towards building a business case. Yeah, there may be some additional steps along the way. Maybe you have to do a demonstration, but don't forget, eye on the prize. We're trying to drive urgency and we're trying to stay focused on quantified metrics and those metrics that matter the most to the champion and the economic buyer that you're speaking with. So you wanna start building a business case. You wanna start co-creating a business case. And this business case will ultimately become the foundation for how you're gonna present and prove value. Then you wanna turn the business case into an executive level presentation that the champion or the economic buyer will be able to present to a decision team. So you can see here how detailed we are in the steps that need to happen to drive urgency, all the way from the questions we're asking in the call, to the recapping what we heard, to the email, all the way through to building the business case, verifying, validating, revalidating, re-verifying, reconfirming, uh, all the way through to building a simple executive presentation, which usually turns into one slide, if you think about it. And by the way, that slide is gonna be most likely presented without you in the room. So it's gotta be tight, and your champion and economic buyer need to be aligned with the metrics and the KPIs and how you're quantifying value. And then, the so what? Then you're mapping the quantified metrics to your solution, and you're doing it with such elegance and such precision that there's no way they're not gonna move in your direction. This is how you're gonna differentiate, and this is how you're gonna win more business. Don't forget the importance of driving urgency in every conversation and in 
every engagement you have with your champions, economic buyer, and all the influencers in the deals that you're pursuing.